Thank you very much. Uh, our next presenter is uh, so the, uh, Professor Kurata, Keio, uh, Keio Gijuku University. And the title is The Way to uh, Support uh, the, in the University Library and uh, so the College in the, so the Digital Ages uh, Research Process. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, my focus this time in my presentation is, first of all, uh, actually, I understand that uh, the very large topic we are discussing here is what is open science. And uh, as we had uh, so the discussion in the morning, so the what is the science anyway, and what does uh, uh, data-driven mean? Well, actually, honestly speaking, from my standpoint, uh, actually, so that is very difficult to understand. So data, I understand the importance of data, but uh, data-driven science, when it comes to data-driven science, I wonder so the how it's difficult from the traditional conventional science and how far we are sort of moving to. And from the social science, uh, the, so the perspective or standpoint, uh, so the, are we really moving to that point data-driven science, uh, I'm not really quite sure. And in terms of the, so the societies, uh, so the regulation and the conventional, uh, I'm not really quite sure. And in terms of open science, second point, uh, so the widely discussed is the, so the digital. And everything is moving to digital, and the research is no exception, and that's the, so the argument. And Study, the way of study, uh, of course, the, so the, some studies are purely done by the, so the individual uh, researcher or the scholar, but uh, in the world of the science and the collaboration and so the sharing and the joint work are, so the, are regarded as an important. Even the, so the human science, when the, so the individual so the research is the main, but uh, even in such the, so the humanitarian science, uh, so such as so the joint or so the collaboration activity, the importance is already being noticed. So uh, I would like to focus today the, so the, uh, how uh, the, so the researchers are really the, so the studying in this field. So, some people argue this issue as a digital scholarship, but this time our topic is also the open science. And so, uh, so as just as the one of the, so the elements in this field, so I would like to focus on this. So there are several ways to uh, put focus on, but uh, so the, I think the research life cycle is the so the buzzword. I mean, the, so the, a word a phrase I often encounter. So I googled research life cycle. So actually, the so the I so Pinterest. Uh, when I use a Pinterest, I came up with uh, so the, this much uh, pictures. So I list it up. So actually, the one page in the back word uh, is pure, purely so text-based, fully text-based, but others are really the so the uh, demographic, so the picture like, and many people are using this style, and actually the so the many libraries website uh, so they use this kind of these so the images actually. Uh, when I look at this the element. Well, so the, there are some, uh, actually, the many commonalities among these. And I pick up one. And uh, this is by the, uh, so the Kramer and the, so the Boschman. Uh, this is announced in the, uh, so the conference in uh, so the 2015. 101 Innovations in Scholarly Communication by Kramer and the Boschman. So inside 2005, inside of the spy, the 2005, and I think the yes, so the are uh, very much outside of the yes, so the dim, should be 2010. So like with, so this is the kind of a format, explaining the yes, so the existence of the yes, so the service, uh, so the supporting the yes, so the academic communication, academic work, and this. 
So based on your uh, sort of research work and the research life cycle, there are sort of several elements. First step is a discovery, and the traditionally, conventionally, so uh, what do you use to symbolize discovery? But uh, uh, it's uh, difficult. But uh, those who are using web of science are now using different things like a Google or also the Arxiv to look for the uh, sort of papers, thesis. And analysis, it doesn't have to be SPSS, but uh, those who are using so the software like them, theirs, so now they are using uh, other places uh, where they can share uh, materials better, like the R open Sci and the others. And the writing, of course, this word is phenomenon. But uh, so the other people uh, so they might be already started to use overly for left works. Publication, publication, so uh, from the, uh, so the magazine, traditional, uh, like the journal, like uh, Nature, so PLOS and the sort of fig share are now uh, sort of being used to share the articles. Um, outreach, uh, actually, the, so the, so when I translated outreach into Japanese, uh, so that it was very difficult for uh, me to do. But uh, in this area, uh, so to, to from DOI and the, so the Google Scala actually sort of helps this work. So actually, the outreach and the discovery are two sides of coin, I think. But uh, so that anyhow, so that we can get the information through these uh, so the, uh, channels. And lastly, assessment. <coughs> it used to be only JCR or impact factor. But now, these are the other old metrics, and we have a several different way to do the assessment. Workflow. Uh, so there has been so the several uh, so the different things ways. And in 2017, this was also a uh, so the academic uh, so the research done in 2017. This says now we have uh, so the reached to the time that uh, you can actually pick up anything you want from these availabilities. But choosing from these and uh, picking up these appropriate for you, your as objective is not really easy. So this is the overall situation, and uh, then let me discuss how what uh, am I doing as an individual researcher. I wish if I had uh, so the, uh, a clear answer, but I just give an example anyhow. In case of the so the college scholars and uh, researchers, uh, actually the so the uh, multiple uh, so the objectives uh, needs to be achieved, and of course the foundation is the so the uh, so the my own study own research, and the training the uh, so the uh, uh, researchers the juniors are uh, so the very more, actually also very important, and also I am supposed to play role in the uh, so the academic circles and academic meetings. And uh, so digitization, so the impact is also coming to this field. Uh, of course, there are some aspects we can actually the, uh, so the leverage my own study, but uh, so that the, uh, others are not. But so my researchers, uh, actually the level of uh, study and uh, also uh, objective and the steps are very different by individual researchers. So fr from these the, so the, uh, elements, Actually, the, so I need to have the, so the best control so to do these uh, all, uh, multiple objectives. And so, uh, actually, the discovery also has the, so the several multiple aspects. And information search, uh, actually, the, so the I continue to use OPAC, but uh, so the Google Scala is, of course, I, I need to use them. And I receive the, so the email. And so that I do these different things, and uh, uh, even today, and I sometimes uh, so that I really need to go to the so the journals or magazines, and uh, I cannot really move away from that. And in several stage of the so the research, 
uh, actually the sort of searching information on the web and also the sort of the searching for the research from uh, the sort of excerpt uh, so the uh, uh, looks are different but they are also uh, the sort of the, uh, relatively so sort of, uh, linked so but uh, in reality so sort the of, uh, actually the, there are some uh, the sort of articles only available in the sort of the paper media so digital is of course increasing but uh, so that I still need to read papers and the memo of the ideas and also the footnote of the uh, uh, so the research so digital uh, I sometimes use digital but uh, so the paper is uh, still very useful so reading information and uh, sort of making notes, I have been thinking that I really want to integrate this process digitally, but it's not really easy. And also in case of a joint study, this becomes more complicated. So I um, wonder, I have been wondering so that if any the sort of better uh, sort of service, combined service available. And. So I check the uh, so the preceding so the studies in my research, and uh, so data is once again important here. So for example, the uh, so the for social research, uh, so the questionnaire data, I refer to that. And but now the uh, so the each individual uh, so the data slip uh, uh, would be so the available. But availability is changing, but uh, then that uh, method of the, uh, so the uh, survey planning is being changed or not, uh, that's really something I'm not really quite sure. So, so having the, so the higher and better availability of the t uh, data does not necessarily mean that, uh, so that we need to ch use different methods in terms of the, uh, so the survey research. And, Actually, in this uh, so the survey and the, so the this survey research, uh, so actually the, so there are some really cumbersome so the procedures uh, to receive the so the subsidies and going through the so the ethical committee and others. So for these the so the cumbersome process procedures, I think the so the, as a researcher I really want to have uh, someone's assistance, someone's help. But this kind of the so the paperwork are also part of uh, uh, so the uh, my work as a researcher. So as a one of the researchers in this field, how I can handle this uh, efficiently is uh, so the something so that I am uh, really having hard time to manage. And I do not really share the uh, so the anal analytic tools with others very often yet, but among those who are so the using so the very advanced the so analytic study, so actually the sharing the so the analytics so the methodology with others are already started among them, and so how do you so the manage in your own study research is becoming more and more important point. If even if the, your research is not really so the large scale study, once you start, uh, the actually the so the data is increasing and a number of files will be created. So the managing those uh, so the a large volume of the so the data would be very very hard work. And. So so uh, finally, uh, so that we so we use Dropbox Wiki, and, uh, and then finally we make those things uh, to public to by using Zenodo or Figshare. And for writing and the presentation, uh, really, so that rely on the uh, so the traditional way, but. Uh, in joint study, joint study, uh, the authorship should be so the completely uh, so the with the joint authors. So uh, with the uh, so the other authors, I uh, so the fr I keep communicating with them. Then the, so the finally the uh, so the uh, thesis will be finalized. Then uh, actually the uh, so the English check and also uh, the uh, uh, so the journal uh, evidence check uh, cited citation check. Uh, we need to rely on the professional, and also posting the uh, so the article is not really easy. I ho I wish if I could do, but man I could manage by myself. Actually, the methodology or uh, steps to do the posting to the site is uh, very uh, cumbersome. 
So if I were told that, okay, I give you, so, so you, if you give, pay me 10,000 yen, so I will manage that, and I really feel like, so that maybe, so that I can use such service. Outreach, actually, the, so the researcher uh, traditionally has not been really aware of the necessity of that, so the outreach. And actually, the, uh, I register myself as the, so the Google Wear, but when I published the, so the scientific article, mm -hmm. within, a, not within a day, but uh, within a week or so, I think, uh, so the Google actually, is the, uh, actually the, I receive email from Google. I just press yes. And so when my, uh, so the article is uh, cited, and uh, so the I will be so the quickly noticed. So when I register, Actually, that we, if I register ResearchGate and the, uh, through ResearchGate, actually, that I will be contacted that, okay, I have read so the your article. Actually, so traditionally, uh, so that actually the, it was not really easy for us that uh, so the how people actually are reading so the my article. But uh, so the researchers are so the now uh, so the uh, uh, capable to have such a contact. And ORCID is uh, so the working link, linked with the, so the Scopus. And uh, uh, so outreach. So, uh, but on the other hand, in so the KO Gijuku University, uh, so the our university is the so the database of the so the research output is uh, so the very poor quality, and I really need to input the so the each service. Once we get really used to the so the Google research system, actually the so the college college's uh, proprietary system is uh, so the very very behind to the times. I hope that the system will be newer and better. Okay, uh, allow me to move on to the next uh, section and how uh, these activities can be supported by universities or the university uh, libraries. Well, um, the Mariama, Mr. Professor Mariama said that you know, um, well, when it comes to the academic meetings, of course, academic meeting, uh, academic on a circle on her can be a very good um, a conduit or the kind of go between. But how about universities? Because uh, the uh, we have academic communities, so uh, but when it comes to the uh, universities, of course, so we have nothing but institutions, so to speak. We belong to the same institution, but uh, each university actually belongs to the different academic community and society. And uh, how, under those circumstances, uh, how libraries can actually support us, it is going to be quite challenging. Well, we still have a long way to go here in Japan, but when it comes to the uh, US or the European actually in the landscape, actually there are many in our cases being reported at high level. Yeah, for example, the last point, actual instruction and the consultants. I'm not saying that you know, they are really bad. I, I would agree that you know, they are quite uh, important. For example, digital management and how digital management can be you know, created. And another is actually um, the libraries can help us in this area. But uh, it is instruction. In other words, uh, and the you know uh, the libraries actually are going to act as kind of go between and actually you know, to give us the latest updates whether or not that is going to be the end point probably not. If I may say now again, um, we need to have the uh, what I call the academic communication system. I think we need to have good transformation uh, you know, to be applied to this uh, uh, system. For example, you know, we have repository. I think repository definitely are meeting with the certain expectations. Again, uh, we are now talking about open access and whether or not uh, they have become a very important stakeholders. I have to say, no, as of now, uh, they have not fully become uh, the, a good, important contributor there. Of course, uh, going forward, data management uh, and data and storage uh, will be quite important. How the data uh, can, whether or not libraries uh, will be able to actually uh, store the data, whether or not university campuses actually can uh, store the data, uh, general Dawn and uh, fixture, and actually, you know, it is going to be in a competitive uh, landscape, whether or not uh, libraries or the universities, for that matter, uh, can be competitive enough vis-a-vis uh, -vis, you know, those uh, you know, service providers. I don't think you know, competition is going to be that important, but again, uh, I think there ought to be the certain uh, divisions of labor, so to speak, within the you know, ecosystem. So what uh, are the things you know, we can expect vis-a-vis -vis universities or the libraries, so to speak? Professor David, and actually, according to his presentation, this is going to be rather impossible. Again, uh, 
maybe uh, we can pay more attention to the totally different in the system. And uh, one interesting idea is, as a movement, is uh, what uh, they call what we call the scholarly commons. Scholarly commons. In other words, uh, this consists of uh, the many different and uh, all the materials and, and the tools and everything. Every one of their things is going to be you know, shareable in the principle. And the educators and the researchers and also the publishers actually, uh, they are going to actually you know, share this important and baseline idea. These things are going to be you know, shared. Of course, it's not just uh, limited to this. Of course, uh, there is going to be um, the one, even if it, uh, well, the, when we talk about the mixture, again, it's got to be you know, on the much closer side of the open and openness. So, with this and ideas now, uh, some movements are underway. In, uh, what they call the scholarly you know, commons. This is just one, uh, just idea, quote unquote. Universities, university, you know, the libraries, whether or not, and you know, what kind of engagement library side and can you know, have. Maybe you know, we still have a long way to go, but again, uh, what we can do, kind of uh, the low hanging fruit, within uh, the institution, within the university, uh, there are varieties of information uh, on the side of research and being generated and being managed. Uh, but uh, the fact is that they are not linked, they are not managed. Uh, so with that point in mind, again, uh, when it comes to the you know, uh, education method and also the you know, funding and um, the patents and, and the uh, publishing and the research outcome, maybe you know, these things can be you know, shared, managed by the university or university uh, library. And uh, Horizon 2020, again, um, this is one of the initiatives, actually, you know, Common European Research uh, Information Format. As I've introduced in the morning session, again, um, the uh, metadata can be applicable to the research in the space. If I'm not wrong, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So um, the metadata can be also uh, utilized in, uh, in this kind of fashion. I think you know, this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, but again, um, you know, uh, if this is going to be possible, I think you know, we've, I believe that libraries will find it much closer uh, to them. Maybe there's going to be good uh, the, uh, uh, chemistry, so to speak, instruction and the consulting besides them, and also there's some you know, infrastructure side activities probably can be recommended. And if that's the case, I think you know, libraries can make a great contributions. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Time-wise, I think we have some time to receive a quick question. Well, Heather-san, uh, if you could share your uh, feedback and how you feel about, uh, you know, uh, after having listened to uh, Heather-san's presentation, any comments, please, from you? It's, uh, this was fantastic, and I think I'm really appreciative that you brought up the Force 11 Scarly Commons model because I think the idea of the shared tools, um, in the, sort of in the center, and the the common principles for operating is where we're thinking in the library community that we need to do a lot of work is to define those principles to be able to assert, con uh, reassert control over outputs and and, um, uh, and and the sort of workflow and workspace here. Um, this is fantastic. Thank you for that comment. Let us now move on to the next presentation. Again, Professor Kurata, uh, I do appreciate uh, your presentation.